Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part seven video of this series, Nest.js and Angular thread example. And now we are going to do final operation that is delete operation. For that, we are going to create a API, delete API at our Nest.js application. And inside of the Angular application, we are going to add a delete button here. So now for delete operation, we don't go to another page. We stay on our home page, but we are going to show the bootstrap model pop up. Okay. As a confirmation box, whether to delete or to ignore. Okay. So first let's go to our Nest.js application and add the delete endpoint. So in our Nest.js application, first let's implement the logic for interacting with the DB for deleting the specified document from the MongoDB collection. Okay, go to superhero service. Here, let me add a new method. Okay, async delete and it should have ID value as an input parameter. Okay. And I can simply call await and this dot superhero model dot find by ID and remove I can use okay ID. So this this method going to remove the specified ID related document from our MongoDB. Now let's consume this method from our new delete endpoint. For that, go to superheroes controller. Okay, let's create a method so async delete superhero okay and it should be decorated with the at the rate delete decorator okay so that delete decorator also loads from the nest.js slash common so this makes our method should only gets invoked for http delete request okay and here we have to create the dynamic URL expression that is the ID value and we have to read that into our method for that we have to use the param decorator and specify the ID okay and ID string and simply I am going to call the my service delete method okay this dot superhero service dot delete and pass the ID value okay so we are done with the delete endpoint so let's rerun the application okay okay our nest.js application is up and running let's get back to our angular application and let's go to our all components because that is our home component right so now let's add the bootstrap model html into this page okay for that go to bootstrap website okay and go to the components and select model okay so from this model let's copy this content okay let me copy this content okay so this is my model HTML and here is the additional button which we don't want here delete it and one main thing is uh, to interact with this HTML model for displaying or hiding we mainly depends upon the ID value so name it clearly okay and let me give the title like warning and in the body are you to to delete the item okay so now i have added the html content now let's go to our ts file all component dot ts file so this bootstrap we have to use the more bootstrap model instance to consume it in our angular application which is available in the windows scope so to declare the window scope 
on top of the component you can declare like declare where window any so this is going to get the scope of our window browser window document okay next in the ng on in it let's uh, initialize the bootstrap model instance okay so for that let me create a variable like delete model okay to so this variable i am going to assign the bootstrap model instance okay so this dot delete model equal to new window dot c we have declared window at right top from the window i am getting the bootstrap instance now okay bootstrap dot model capital m and inside of it we have to define the id value okay for to get the we have to pass the id value what id value our bootstrap model id value how we can get we can get document dot element by id okay get element by id and to that pass the id value of our bootstrap instance okay okay now let's create a method to open the delete confirmation model okay method like open delete confirm delete pop up okay and it will read the id value nothing but the item to delete okay and to store this value let me create a variable like item to delete okay initially empty so once the pop up opens we are going to assign the item dot delete equal to id value and now we have to open the pop up so to open the pop up we have variable the delete model that has the instance of bootstrap bootstrap right so that we can uh, control it so this dot delete model dot show so this method going to open up our model okay and in the html let me change this this will be a close button two buttons are there right close button fine and save changes let me change it to confirm delete and it should be red color okay danger okay and here for each item we have to add the delete button right so next to the edit button let me add the button since here we are not navigating to any other component right so i will use button itself directly okay so button type will be button so that it won't reload the page and class btn btn danger okay delete and it click should be registered with our open model pop up open delete pop up okay okay now test whether we are able to open the bootstrap pop up or not and it is expecting the item dot id as a input value right so pass that value as well okay so let me go to our website here is the delete button if i click on delete button see we are getting the confirmation pop up delete confirmation pop up if i click on close pop up will be closed okay if i click on confirm delete i have to invoke the api call and then close the pop up okay so we have to invoke the api call right for that first go to our service file to implement the logic for invoking the delete api call okay so delete and it should have id value as a input parameter okay so here return this dot http dot delete okay and just copy this url okay id is passing dynamically okay that's it that is our delete api call okay now we have to consume this in our all super component 
so in also per component let me create a new method like delete okay so this dot so per hero service dot delete and we have to pass our this dot item to delete value and subscribe so on successful delete right we have to close the pop up for that we can use this the delete model and now we have to call the hide method okay and we have to register this delete method with our confirm delete button click event okay click okay now let's test it whether that delete api invoking and item is deleting successfully or not okay somewhere delete is not method save it files are not set correctly okay now no issue now if i click on button and if i go to network calls clear the network calls and click on confirm delete see pop-up is hidden but from ui we are not removing okay but api call is invoked it is successful means at the server we deleted the item okay this is our delete api call at the server we deleted the item but we haven't we forgot to remove it from the here from list right see if i reload the page now the item is gone so the logic i am missing here is i have to remove the item from my so this superheroes array array of values we are binding right from this we have to remove the item as well okay so that it will be removed from the ui as well so this dot superheroes equal to this dot superheroes we have to filter such a way we have to exclude the or this dot item to delete okay so sorry not triple equal to not equal to so what we are doing our api delete api call is successful but we are forgot to remove it from the ui so that i am filtering my superheroes object in such a way i have to remove the item to delete okay from the array now let's test again i have single object right let me try to remove this one so confirm delete see now i am able to delete it from the ui so that's all guys we are done with the delete operation as well thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful information to you all if you like the content please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with the new videos until then signing off